So for today's breakfast, I made a really good frozen smoothie with a lot of fruits and veggies. In this smoothie, I added one apple, one banana, some frozen celery, frozen green kale, lemon, some fresh turmeric and also some ginger. I also added some water and then it's time to blend it all up. This smoothie had a consistency like a frozen slush, but it's a healthy one. The green color is amazing. I topped this frozen smoothie with some cashew nuts. So now it's time for lunch and I am very very hungry so I'm going to make some leftovers from yesterday some scrambled tofu and also some cooked potatoes and veggies So I heated up the scrambled tofu in the microwave you will find the full recipe in the description and add the potatoes and veggies on a plate together with some lettuce, red cabbage, cucumber, avocado, some homemade pickled red onion and also some unsweetened coconut yogurt. I also had a piece of gluten-free walnut bread to this dish, which is my absolute favorite bread. And look, it's like a rainbow on a plate. And around 2.30 in the afternoon, I very often get very hungry, so this fruit snack is perfect to eat between lunch and dinner. I chopped some banana, orange and also added some smooth tahina and also a date. Don't forget the sea salt on the top, it's really delicious. I also had a cup of green tea. Now it's time for dinner and I'm going to make a quinoa dish with a lot of spices, ginger and also some chickpeas. And I hope you will like this one. It's really, really good and warming when the autumn is coming. Start to cook some quinoa. If you prefer rice, that works very well too. And then start to chop up the veggies. I chopped up some red bell pepper in small pieces, some zucchini and also some ginger. Add some oil in a pot and then add the veggies. Then it's time to add the spices, which is a half teaspoon paprika powder, a half teaspoon turmeric powder, one garlic clove, black pepper and also some salt and chili flakes. When the veggies are soft, add two cups unsweetened plant milk, two tablespoons white tahini and stir around. The main protein source in this stew is chickpeas, so I added one can cooked chickpeas and let it simmer for a few minutes. I really like the creaminess that the tahini brings to this stew. I also added some tomato paste and let it simmer for a few more minutes. Then it was finally time to eat. 
so here we have the quinoa and of course some extra greens lettuce red cabbage and avocado and the warming stew i top this dish with some fresh basil just because i really love fresh herbs and also some sunflower seeds to get some crunch in there So this is the dinner for today, a really warming stew with a lot of protein from the chickpeas and also the quinoa and I really hope you will try it. Thank you so much for watching, take care and I hope to see you in the next video.